So it's year seven. Seven. Me and Whitney thought it was year six. Yeah. <laughs> we seriously looked at my necklace and we're like, oh, wait, it is seven. <laughs> You're seven to Seven years in June. And so we thought it'd be fun to talk about, one, our growth over the last seven years, but also focus on June and what June means to us. So of course, June is our anniversary month. Um, to me, I, I'm not good. It just kind of all blends together, like all the years. I'm like, oh my gosh, like we've been doing this seven years. Um, and of course, you know, started in our house. And it started um, very small and... Six years in our house. Didn't just start there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Six years in our house. Yeah. Just moved out. Um, I was thinking this week, I was just like, just from last June, like we were all in the upstairs room and like so close together. And it's just like, it's so drastically different. Mm -hmm. um, but our team is amazing and has adapted whatever we throw at them. But I thought it'd be fun to talk about our growth. So... Um, I know y'all have seen the pictures of like me and Wit on our first dining room, on the dining room table <laughs> making our first clips. Photo credit. Brett took the yeah. photo. <laughs> I knew you um, were there. Yeah. <laughs> I said Brett was there too. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna look back on this one day. Yeah, you really did. Um, and it's crazy because I remember going to girls night and I remember telling them this is gonna be a multi-million dollar business. Like this is gonna be, I think I said million, a million dollar business. And I was like, this is gonna be successful. And I'm sure they laughed at me. Um, and I remember going to Biba. Biba gave us, Brett's mom gave us $500 to start. And we went to Hobby Lobby. And I remember her meet me at the Germantown Hobby Lobby and she gave me $500 cash. And I went in and bought a lot of trim. Um, and. Yeah. Whitney, you've been there since night one. Night one. So just tell me that first night, obviously people have a lot of different dreams and hopes, but to see seven years pass, but just bring me back, bring us back to that first night. What was that like? I mean, we were up, me and Lindsay, I think Brett was there, and we were just sitting around the dining room table then, and she was just had all this material out, and she was just trying to make some pretty clips that were short and like better for babies, not a choking hazard. So it's just been so cool to see it from starting at the dining room table to now we're in this amazing building that's huge and she has all these employees. So it's just so cool to see what God has done in seven years. So I remember we were at girls night one night, I think the first year she started the business and she was like one year or sometime we're gonna be a million dollar business. And I was like, I mean, I didn't doubt her, but I was like, oh, that's cool. But like, she did it, you know, like, I just, um, I'm so proud of her that really she took what she wanted, this dream, and she made it happen, so it's really cool. So we ha we're gonna show you some of the, you wanna, I guess you could get the, like, the rosy. Oh, yes. Um, and a few, a few weeks ago, we did this story. It was actually Brett's idea to actually, last time you were like, I don't remember that. <gasps> but it was his idea to, like, take the trim and put it through the clip and kind of, like, fold it over and then, so that's where the rosy came. So this is, was our first successful clip. My idea um, was to double sided. Yes, for mm -hmm. double sided. Um, started out one. And of course, the reason we started Ryan and Rose is because Ryan took a pacifier and I felt like all the pacifier clips on the market were like way too long. Um, so we were the first to shorten the pacifier clip back in 2013. Um, Whitney always reminds me, remember when we used to make them, you would get an order, cha-ching! Yeah. <laughs> and then you would go make it, and then you would go package it, and then you'd go ship it. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine doing that. We, we couldn't do it now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even There's no way. Jump ahead to 2018. Packaging. We, you still had to package it, so the yeah. shipper would go pull the product, clean it, package it, then ship it. And that was until, I think, September. So we were doing that until September of 2018. Whew. Can't imagine. Mm. Yeah. Guys, we've been working hard. My mom and my sister and myself. This is just a tiny bit of it, but it's going out. Y'all are awesome. You know, Caroline saved us in <laughs> packaging. <laughs> that's thousands actually and thousands of clips. Yeah, because that's when Caroline started. Mm -hmm. She was our first like packager, right? Yeah. Yeah. So she was we would send her home with all these clips and she would package them for us. So this is our wholesale packaging. It has a Bible verse in the inside. It has the directions listed right here and then how to share it on Instagram. It has our logo and then explains how to be used on the back. 
So I think a lot's been added. I mean, we've changed so much, we've grown so much. I mean, you know, I used to teach in the first four years. Yeah. I was still teaching. Um, she was still at the hospital. Yeah. She would come and work at night and help engrave. And I mean, just some of our, we, we think, we, I don't know if we've ever talked about it, but some of our growth in sales over the first, so you're better at this than I. So the first year one, 2013, we did a sold. So it was basically half a year, but still. Yeah, because it started June. Mm -hmm. $900. Sold $900. Ooh. Sales. <laughs> <laughs> So luckily, <laughs> luckily, Viva gave me 500. Yeah, so uh, good investment. <laughs> you already made your money back. Yep. Already made my money back. Uh, well, not yet. I mean, well, yeah, because yeah, everybody's working for free. Yeah. Um, and then year two, so nine hundred dollars. So it was almost like a running joke. Uh, so the set, year two was nine thousand dollars. So it was ten ten times growth. Yeah. And uh, pretty excited about that. And then. We're like, so if we do 10 times again, that's, you know, 90, 100,000. And lo and behold, that's what year three was. <laughs> 90 grand. Still not paying myself. Just, no. it just FYI. Just any money that was made. Um, and this is more Lindsay's doing was just new products, more inventory. Website. Stocking up for website. Mm -hmm. 10 grand out you the know, door. Engraved clips. Engraving machine out the door. Yeah. Like just investing. Stocking up for Black Friday in the middle of summer. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Making thousands of clips that you didn't yeah. need at the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it all worked out. Like yeah. it's just, you know, lying on the Lord in every aspect is what got us through. And then year or so, $900, 9,000, 90,000. And then the next year, da -da 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 -da. So that was 2016. Um, we actually doubled sales. Yeah. So it was like 180 grand, which, you know, is. Big, still a big jump. Mm -hmm. Right. And is that the year I finally paid myself? Um, 2000, year four? End of 16, going into 17. Yeah. So. 16 is when you quit. So yeah. you were yeah, 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 yeah. you were relying yeah. on that. Yeah, 16, you still weren't getting paid. Because yeah. I remember Keila worked for us. And she, when I was at White Station at, during the day, she came to the house and mm -hmm. engraved. And it was like, I either have to let her go or pay myself. So we, you know, she stopped engraving. Mm -hmm. It was such a hard decision. It was such a hard decision. Yeah. Um, but that's just part of business and trying to figure out and navigate. And I was pregnant at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, All right. So what was the year that things really exploded and took off for Rhino Rose? That was definitely 2018. Mm -hmm. So Charlie is, you know, almost one and she still won't take a pacifier. Even though 17 is kind of when that October, design process yeah. started, mm -hmm. but 2018 is when the cutie pat showed up. Yeah. It and showed up. Yeah. It, <laughs> it really was like that. It was a, it was a pat pat. Yeah. But, I have it in there. It was clear. Clear. You know, yeah. And uh, she took it right away and we knew that was a sign of things to come and the yeah. business just skyrocketed from there. Mm -hmm. So that, um, that multi-million dollar business she had always dreamed of, you know, just came to fruition. Yeah. Just in the blink of an eye, mm -hmm. you know. So not only did cutie pat sales go through the roof, so did cutie clips, because every time you need a pacifier, you need a clip. Yeah. They work hand in hand. Yeah. And um, I would also say that's kind of like when you're, the wheels and the designs mm -hmm. in your mind start taking off. Yeah, and I think too, like, okay, I've done this, you know, this is, okay, this is how this process works, and like, all right, let's do this. And so, create um, something else. let's create something out. So, mm -hmm. tags and straps, and straps was actually, we, it took, it would have been a year earlier, but we ended up doing like a patent search, and you know, because that's what we do, is yeah. we follow, we're gonna be, respect everybody's intellectual property. So like, we, that's what we always do, but like the straps and the tags and just, all of that. I mean, I can't even, there's so many things everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Holders took a long time. Different stages, Tinsels. stage two, flat. Tinsels. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think, which one came first? Cause I think flat was actually worked on first, mm -hmm. but then stage, stage two, two launched first. Yeah. But because we kept improving it, improving it, it took longer. Yeah. Um, same thing with the bulb. We're still waiting on the bulb, but it's coming, <laughs> it's coming. Um, it will be worth the wait. It will be worth the wait. Yeah. It sure will. Um, but yeah, like bracelets and cutie bands and holders and I don't know. What's what's your favorite cutie product? Um, me personally is the holder and 
And I was against it at first. <laughs> can, I, can I hear that again? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Mama knew. She knew how good it was going to be. Um, so, I, think, I love it. I think it's like back to the need of when Charlie, Ryan and Charlie were babies, like not having a cup holder on my stroller. Like I knew that need, there was a need that I feel like you had to feel, um, but it's just so, I think now we like it for our bikes. Yeah. When like your lawn chair, like there's just so many uses. So it's like you came up with one need for it, but then it like meets all these needs, which I think is the coolest thing. Yeah. I think I didn't realize early on how we use it all the time, Personal. multifunctional. Yeah. It's like it can hold so many different things. And that's so such many a different uses. Big word in the company. Oh yeah, I mean, cutie clips, multifunctional. Yeah. You know, that's what we always say, multifunctional. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, just it's so crazy because people see us now and they're like, oh, you're so successful. And it's like, it took a long time. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. And a yeah. lot of work and money and of... investment and I mean, heck, and this what what year did you quit? Twenty. 18. 18. Yeah. Okay. And we, so she did most of the engraving. Mm -hmm. um, and she, how did you originally get paid? Oh, I got paid in dinners. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably the first three years, which I like to eat. So it worked out good for me. Yeah. And then I think maybe year four, I think was when I got started getting paid. Like $12 an hour. <laughs> well, I got, I got paid in back rubs. It was like, yeah. I really need some help with these numbers. Can you, can you do this? Can you do this for me? Um, but yeah, I mean, but I loved it. I think it was just, it was easy and it was fun. And you used to make fun of me because, well not make fun of me, but like we're talking about ship night. Like, cause I, you know, I oh, white, yeah. worked at White Station, walked to the high school teacher all day and I'd come home and. The first three or four years, it was like, you know, Tuesday was ship night. So yeah. you, whenever you place your order, it didn't get shipped till Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. But, and that was probably on Etsy. Cause we started mm -hmm. on Etsy and then Big, Big Cartel and then, um, Shopify. Shopify. And Shopify it has been amazing. Yep. Um, Lindsay used to stay up, like she would work all day and then stay up till like probably like what, 2 a.m. and then wake up at six to make no. it to school again? Or well, five? Like five. Yeah. yeah. Leave at six. Yeah. So. I how, don't know how, how. How would you do that today? <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about that recently. Like, I don't know how I did that. Like, I would stay up till two and then get up because I taught at a high school. like get up at five, leave at six, and be at work, you know? And you were still raising Ryan during this time too, so it wasn't yeah. like you didn't have kids or anything, like you had Ryan. Yeah. She yeah. turned out okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's a lot, it's 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 crazy looking back and just how much it's changed. And I mean, even the growth, like, so Cutie Clips was where where it started. And it was 100% of the business. Yeah, 100% of the business. And I think even in the very beginning, creating the name. I remember we went to University of Memphis. Oh yes. And we went to like mm -hmm. a business class. Um, but a guy there was like, you should give it a catchy name. And so we then came home and did Cutie Clip and trademarked it. Yeah. And from there, Cutie is history. That's where Cutie was born. That's yeah. where Cutie, in University of Memphis, uh, yeah. <laughs> Cutie was born. Um, but yeah, I mean, just with clips and then like we talked about Natur Sutton and oh, how yeah my love for Natural Sutton and just how God kind of provided us all these things to get to where we are and what we learned and um, even engraving, like to be able to have natural the cells from natural and the cells from clips and making them better. Like safety was always our focus. Quality was always our focus. Now the clips have changed and improved and gotten better and safety standards have improved and, but it's just part of growing and becoming better and that's really big with us. I feel like our brand is, we can always be better. Like everything, you can always be better, even as a person, but also as a brand and what you learn and learning so much throughout the years. And so, um, but then another thing that we added was like collaboration. Um, you know, very early on, like Whitney and then Whitney Sneed was a maker. Mm -hmm. Most of mine were braided for a while. We worked with Advanced Memphis and we had ladies in the community. My mom, me and my mom went to um, Memphis and, you know, taught these ladies and, you know, poor areas to, to braid and gave them jobs. And we did that for a couple years. We love Mary. Um, and it was just really cool. And we did that and then braided clips kind of you know, faded out. faded out and then we started doing beaded and my goodness, it took us, I don't know how many strings we went through. <laughs> yeah. 
Like, yeah. I remember we would, so I have so, ordered so many strings and all of that kind of stuff and Brett would test it and he would hang it to a doorknob. He basically put the loop, right, on a doorknob yeah. and yank it. Just for, testing for <laughs> <laughs> They are tested by yeah. CPSC labs, but yeah. that was our start. Mine are more rigorous. Yeah. yeah. They're at His, least 200 pound tested. Yeah. Um, but just the memories and we'll going back on all that, but like, and now. It's also crazy to think June started out as a one day sale. Yeah, oh, it did. Yeah. Then wow. to a week, then to now it's a whole month <laughs> of theatrics and songs and <laughs> contests. And yeah. And that really started last year, I think. Mm -hmm. And that's where like Brett's creative side. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why we're such a good team is because he's very creative. Um, and it's just fun. And we, I mean, I feel like a lot of it, we're, we're all big brother fans, but like it's kind oh, of yeah. that fun games and, mm -hmm. you know, being a brand that loves that and loves funny and not really caring what you look like on camera and, you know, being willing to sing songs about cutie clips and cutie pads. And, yeah. But it's so much fun. And I think seeing all the families come yeah. together, but to me, that's what I love about June yeah. the I most. I just remember last year, um, we're still in our house. It's full of boxes. And we ordered all this surprises for June. Oh yeah, yeah. Pears and, you know, something new every week. And our house was already full, and I said, June is coming. They're like, literally, June is coming to yeah. our house, yeah. and we don't know what we're gonna do with it. So that's where June is coming from last year started. Yeah. And that's where and the Kitty community ran with it, Game of Thrones. Morphed into yeah. Game of Thrones, Winter's Coming. And, that and was, that's Trent, that's when you started, right? You started, right. our first videos was last June. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, we had the boxes. Y'all remember Brett built the big throne, and I was sitting, <laughs> it was just really fun. Um, but that's what's what makes it so fun. Honestly, last June, we were still in uh, Lindsay and Brett's house and had stuff everywhere. And it was, it was just a lot more complicated, I guess, probably to um, just get everything done and have a spot for everything. Um, my June actually starts early. So because I'm getting prepared for June, by having the makers make clips and making sure they're done on time. Um, and that's what I was doing last June and this June too. So um, obviously this year has been a lot different just with shipping and things arriving um, and just kind of not being able to um, follow our original plan and just kind of go with the flow. Um, but it's been a lot of fun. It's been exciting seeing people with their games and just all their creativity and um, just knowing that there's so much more goodness to come, so many good colors. Uh, that's my favorite part about June is the planning and sitting down with Brett and Lindsay and other team members and picking out the colors that we know everybody will be excited about, whether they're, they're new colors or previous LEs that they'll love to see come back. So that's my favorite part. We do have 12 colors planned for June. Yeah. We'll, we'll see what actually gets launched. We've launched but... five, five, five colors. Yeah. We're still waiting. Yeah, we're I think at waiting. this point we were supposed to have done seven. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. so. And six left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. last week I posted and they're like, um, this was supposed to, I said, this is supposed to be week five. They're like, there's five weeks in June. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's five weeks in June. Yeah. Like they didn't, they just thought four weeks. And yeah. like, yeah, that was really funny. Yep. Um, a little surprise. Yeah. But I think it's, we have to give credit to like, like I love talking about our growth, but I love talking about our team and like what is not just us, but like everyone that you don't see behind, you know, on the camera, like putting it on from like oh, listing sure. it to photographers and mm -hmm. everybody has to be so flexible. Um, because as you know, we moved week one and two swap, week five got moved to week three. And so like, we didn't have photos yet. We didn't have this. We didn't have, you know, models. We didn't June have- June was carefully planned out every single detail. <laughs> it I'm was. Like a perfect playbook. When this is coming, when this is, what pairs together. This one looks good with that. And that's a boy, that's a girl, that's a neutral. Yeah. And then June came, COVID, COVID. came. COVID came. COVID yeah. came and it was just like, yeah. throw that out the window. We're gonna ad lib and- Oh, this showed up today. This is what we're launching yeah. in Surprise! two hours. So get yeah. ready. Yep. Get those graphics ready. Yeah. And I think. Hey, Trent, can you edit this video? <laughs> yeah. We got 30 minutes. Yeah. We know you've been newborn at home, but yeah. yeah. Can you do this? So I think, I don't know, it's just so much fun. And um, I hope this motivates people too to know that if you work hard and your heart's in it and you pray about everything, like, you know, you can be successful. And I just, I think I always knew from the very beginning, like, this is going to be, even like, 
we were talking about like, I knew not to call it cutie clips because I knew Ryan and Rose when we were coming up the name, like we knew that it was gonna be more than just cutie clips. Like naming the company. Naming cutie the clips. company, yeah. Yeah. So like we knew, like, and we even talked, I remember talking about like, should it be like Ryan and something else? Like, what if you have another kid? Like, are they gonna be mad that their name's not in it? Like, you know, should it have been Ryan and Charlie? Or? Well, it was even an option. Yeah, yeah it really was. was. Probably yeah. wasn't here yet. Yeah, <laughs> we even know if we're having another kid. So just all those, but Charlie don't care. Ryan don't even care that the business is named after her. <laughs> but um, she just thinks it's cool that I play basketball. That it doesn't matter about the business, but yeah. I think just, the growth and just how God's guided us in this building, like just being able to do this video in this huge warehouse and this beautiful paid off building, like praise Jesus, you know, like um, that's what hard work is. And all things are possible to those who believe. Mark 9, 23, that's on our packaging. That's on um, everything. It's on our website and we live it and we speak it and it's, it's real life. Um, but yeah, I think, so you're better at talking about like, okay, the cutie clips and then teethers, cutie teethers, and then the cutie pad. And we don't really have to go into that because y'all already know all those stories, but just um, just the growth and adding things. And we're really big on collaborations. Mm -hmm. Like we totally support community over competition. Like Flourish, I forget what year it was when we did leather clips. 2015. 15. Mm -hmm. um, I reached wow. out to her and I remember being so nervous because like, you know, she doesn't know who I am and having yeah. to trust each other. Mm -hmm. And like, I, I think she felt the same way. It was, oh, yeah. it was kind of unheard of um, for just two biz two separate businesses to collaborate like that. There's yeah. a lot of trust that had to go mm -hmm. into that um, partnership. And it's been but, a beautiful relationship. Like they're amazing. And how many people yeah. that work for them that work for us and it's just, being able to support other women and men across the United States, making clips um, and like, hey, we love like what, like Ruby and Flynn, like we love your clips. We'd love for you to make them for us. And just being able to one, like you said, trust us and come in and like being able to use our platform and come together. And um, maybe we'll have another retreat in the future, but definitely not this year with COVID, but um, that was fun last year. But. Yeah. I don't know, just from everything, and we're gonna show you the, you know, from booties doing a collab with Kaylin and the Bapron and sweatshirts and holders and uh, pouches. Pouches. Pouches, yeah. and we wanna bring you the best. Yeah. And that's, you know, I think one thing too is like, yeah, we could go and make this ourselves, but like, no, it wasn't our idea. Like, we wanna support those women and those other companies that bring you the best already mm -hmm. and just put the Ryan and Rose, you know. Also, if somebody easy. has already perfected something. Oh, yeah. Um, and we're not looking to improve on it, then it makes, make, what makes way more sense to collaborate. Yeah. Just and support them. Yeah. yeah. And tried blankets. <laughs> Yep. Didn't go well. <laughs> Didn't go well. God said, this is not for you. There, there were multiple things that went wrong with that. Yeah. The quality, mm -hmm. the color, the smell. The oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like shipping. Like, I feel like that was one of the first things that we shipped that was ever big. Semi heavy. And it was like, oh, this is a whole new thing we've never even thought about. Oh, and, yeah. It's kind of like you get it and you're like, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Like, what are we going to do with this? Really sell. Yeah. But so, I think one of the coolest things is how everyone's job in Ryan and Rose has changed from what you were hired to do is basically not what you're doing now. Yeah. Um, just because Lindsay's good about finding your strengths and then like plugging you into that portion of Ryan and Rose that's best gonna um, help the company as a whole. Yeah. And, so, and really everybody mm -hmm. has changed yep. from in office to remote mm -hmm. to I mean, Danielle and Jen and Sarah, like, and just all of Ashley. I mean, all of them just how like, oh, you're doing this and even yeah. Candace and everybody yeah. just. Switchboard operator. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I do think like being a teacher and like, I feel like those, those past jobs of me has taught me to do that, like mm -hmm. to, um, to be able to adapt and be flexible. And you know, we have core values and a lot of that is in our core value, being flexible and um, always knowing you can do better and being positive. And um, so yeah, it's it sounds weird seven years. Does it sound, sound weird to you? Yeah. Sounds like a long time. I mean, Ryan's <laughs> almost eight, that. but I don't know. And people always say, where do you see yourself in 10 years? I'm like, I have no idea. Doing this. She's trying to make it 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Squirrel. 
Squirrel, that's me. Did you did you think so? You, you told that girl's night like. It's gonna, I hope it's gonna be, or it's gonna be a million dollar business. Did you think that you would reach this scale within seven years? You know, I really, I knew in my heart deep down that I would. I don't think I ever had a timeline. I think that's the biggest thing. Like, I, I don't think I was ever worried about that. It wasn't like, this is what I have to do right now. Yeah. It's just, I'm this gonna work hard. This is my five year goal or 10 year plan. Yeah. No, it was never like that. Yeah. It was I'm just gonna do what I love and grow it. And I'm very grateful for Instagram. I feel like Instagram was made for me. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> um, but that, I mean, I was always growing up in pictures. And I mean, even when we, me and Winnie both, we, our first job was working in a t-shirt print yeah. shop, my aunt's shop. And so I did graphics, you know, I did um, accounts receivable, like everything, like folding shirts, cleaning screens. Like we had, a, a hard job and you know it taught us to work hard and all of those things like prepared us um even like bhs live in high school when it you know oh, editing yeah. like i edit videos now and you know so I've, i'm just very grateful that i've been able to i mean it's funny we just threw away my light box when we moved and i was because i used to take all the photos mm -hmm. you know like every i did everything every aspect yeah. every aspect i did media i did marketing i did photos i did emails i did you yeah. know and she had to learn like how to set up a website how to do how to set up amazon oh, like my, amazon uh, i cried like i mean shipping like that's just like she figured out all the really hard stuff yeah. like on your like, own people are like oh you know i'm like uh I did it for you. I'm the one who figured it out. Yeah. You know? But in through the years, you know, I've gotten help, a lot of amazing help. I have an A team um, who's incredible. And but yeah, like all those hard things, like um, yeah, it was even finding manufacturers and like yeah. you know, it's it's a lot. So I think I knew y'all know the Target story, and like I knew I always wanted to be in Target and. Um, and that happened, praise Jesus. Um, and I feel like I, I really do pray about everything. Like, I'm not saying every night, but like every aspect gets prayed upon and I feel like God leads my heart. Um, and that's what people are like, what do you want next? I'm like, I don't know, I just pray about it. God, God tells me what to do. He tells me, you need to work on a toothbrush or you need to work on this or you need to work on that. Um, I think, I think what surprised me the most, what's hard is managing that, you know, like how much, like I love creating, I love, you know, making new products. I love bringing out new colors, but there's, there's a lot of, there's another side too about managing people and, you know, bringing, having the best team. And that's a lot of work. And I think yeah. you think, it's a big, whole another animal. Thing. Yeah. You think you big picture them. like products, but there's also all these le levels of, that's underneath it that you have to have to be successful. So I don't think I ever thought about that. Like, yeah. um, so like building your team. Uh, Lulu told me don't have a C employee when you have A employees. We have A employees. And I think that is what is important that we have the best of the best. Um, and people being willing to change and adapt and grow and own mistakes and just keep going. But I think I love it, but it's also very hard um, and I think maybe a goal for us is like become, people always ask me and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know, I gotta pray about it. But just being, we always used to say, be a household name and I feel like we're there. Um, but bringing things for everybody in the house, you know, mama, daddy, sister, brother, yeah. baby. That's what, that's what I was happy about. Yeah. Bands, straps, mm -hmm. uh, bracelets, holders. holders, all the things that us non-child, you know, yeah. I don't have kids, I don't have kids, so I love all the things that yep. I can help, you know, support the business as well. And a lot of like a lot of things we've created is like what we what I want. Mm -hmm. You know, cutie cutie bands was because I wanted a cute ponytail holder that stayed in place. So like trying to okay, this is a problem I have, I'm gonna fix it. I'm not gonna go make something because like, oh, you need to make this. I'm like, no, I, I mean, they, somebody else makes that on the market and it's great. Or I tried to make, like we did, we tried sippy cups and it was like, I can't approve it. You know? <laughs> uh, somebody else is gonna have to do that because it has to be perfect, you know? Yeah. It has to be so, so, so good. But as a lot of it's the needs, what I want, and you know, the Lord lays on my heart and we have a lot of stuff planned for you. Yeah. Uh, so we're, we're excited. We'll see Always what working. 2021, Hold. Somebody asked us like last week, like 
how, how many things are you working on at a time? And we're like, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> there's, I mean, just besides colors, there's always, I mean, cause like the cub took two years. So mm -hmm. like this project might've took two years. This one took six months. Well, this one might take three years or, mm -hmm. so you have to keep always be working on something, but we're going to bring you the best of the best with the best staff and best customer service. And you know, I don't know. So 2020, it's crazy. I used to help Lindsay make clips, a little part-time. You might do like, I don't know, 200 a couple, every couple of weeks. There wasn't very many. I quit my x-ray job last June. My last day was June 27th. And I started being a full-time maker in July. And in February of this year, now I am full-time Target, so. Did you think that this dream that Lindsay had, did you think it was gonna get this big? Like, what were your A uh, negative, no. <laughs> she had asked me to quit my job like they, two years ago, and I, I was scared. I was chicken. Yeah, but now being in the space. It's seeing... so amazing. Yeah. Last June, I had just got hired, so I think I started, the very first week of June, so I pretty much dove in head first, had no idea what I was expecting. June around here is just so exciting. There's so many new products, there's so many new things, new colors, games. It's just an exciting time. It's a time to celebrate Ryan and Rose and their anniversary and how far they've come and the growth that we see each year. I mean, June, I haven't only been here a year, but June last year we were in the house. June this year we're now in this beautiful new space and headquarters and we have more people and faces and it's just crazy to think in what it, one year how far June has come. Um, I love all of the excitement uh, that you see in the cutie community, the games, the anticipation for colors, just so so many fun things and Brett and Lindsay I know put so much time and so much um, thought and hard work and effort to make it a big deal and fun for everybody and it's just it's such a fun time and I look forward to it. What I would say that has surprised me most about the growth of the company is how much, like, Lindsay's my sister, but like so many people relate to her and love her and she has over a million followers and those people are so invested in her and the family and the business. And I think that's the part that surprised me the most. It's just so cool about how everyone loves the company, I feel like as much as we do. Yeah. And love Lindsay and everything she stands for and that you get to use this job to reach people for the Lord too. I just think that's really cool. Yeah. That that's a whole nother thing you would have never thought about, you know? Yeah. Cause that. I remember talking about when I remember quitting teaching and I struggled with it and like, Lord, why would you have me stop? You know, my heart is deaf education and deafness. Why would you have me stop this? I worked so hard for my certification and all of that. And then, but in the background, he's like, wait, Lindsay. I got something even better for you. Mm -hmm. I, you, you don't, you just have to wait and see. And so now looking back, it's like, oh my gosh, I had this tiny platform at the school. Now I have this humongous platform. Mm -hmm. I'm getting to teach deaf education, but I'm also gonna get to share my life with them that, you know, and I'm not a, I'm not a preacher, I'm a shower. I'm like, I'm not gonna, you know, tell you what to do. I'm gonna show you how I live my life. And I'm gonna, sh you know, this is, if you wanna live it too, that's great. Um, how we educate our kids, how we teach our kids, how we, you know, so like, I think it's just crazy how God's just allowed us to use our platform and show people, look, we're not perfect. We got, you know, we can always do better, but like it's God loves you no matter what. Like you don't have to be perfect and you know, you get grace and it's just really cool just how having this platform, mm -hmm. it's not about cutie products. It's about God and sharing his love of Jesus and you know, how it all just comes together and how his plan he knew the plan. Yeah. I, we just didn't know it yet. Yeah. You know? So.